Hi, I'm Rikas. Today I'll be explaining the bike we used for the promotional video for the X1 Pro Gen 4. The battery is a 14 ace 2 p battery. It's capable of 60 amps continuous and 80 amps peak. So at the moment the Mosley is set to a peak of uh, 4 kilowatts. And in order to drive the 4 kilowatts through the bike we have uh, a special cassette we made specifically for the X1 Pro. So the reason for this setup, what we found with standard cassettes is if you use the full power of the bike in the top two cassettes because of a bad chain line and the size of the gear itself, in some cases it's possible to fold the largest and second largest cog on a normal mountain bike cassette because it's so large. Then the other thing we noticed is by removing the bottom two and only using as small as a 15 for the lower cog, we get enough chain wrap so there's enough tooth contact for the chain to not skip or jump out once there's a bit of tension released. So this also gives a better cassette longevity but this principle can also be followed on standard cassettes by not using the highest two in the highest power and as well as the lowest two to prevent slipping or folding of cassette gears. But if you stay within the middle range and keep a good chain line generally the result is quite good for most cassettes. So what we have here is as close as possible to a stock Saron. We did however remove the controller and replace it with a EBMX controller. But it's set to the stock setting of 6 kilowatts and 300 phase amps with a 60 volt battery. Then uh, what we have here is one of our test bikes that we've mounted a 72 volt battery. It's 20S4P. So we're able to draw about 8 kilowatts out of it for testing. But it's still set to the stock uh, settings that we sell the motor with at the moment. Um, so we use these two bikes as a comparison between uh, stock Saron and the uh, X1 Pro Gen 4.